さあ続いてやってきたのは多分 LA で一番有名なショップ RDBLA でございます多分 YouTube チャンネル見てる人も多いんじゃなかろうかと思いますもうとにかくめちゃくちゃいろんなセレブとかお金持ちの車、まあ、あとは有名人の車をたくさんカスタマイズしているショップでございますで今回ここで1 6 6インダストリーズエアロキットで有名なところですねそこの車が入ってるってことなんで一緒に紹介してくれるみたいです行ってみましょう Welcome to LA This is RDB LA This is our new location、uh, All indoors and literally Hollywood We're five minutes away from Hollywood Boulevard So check out the shop Behind me we have the all new Range Rover 1016 Industries wide body kit This is the first one in the world、uh, Actually it's kind of the development kit So we are finally finished with it and it looks Amazing. The new Range Rover is a very, very big car for us in the United States, I'm sure also all over the world. So, this body kit is going to do very, very well for everybody. It's also wrapped in a full satin pearl white, so, it's a very, very、uh, cool looking color. And then,、um, obviously, you guys have already seen the Urus. We've done maybe over 35 wide body 1016 Uruses here,、um, including my white one, which is about three years old now. And it's still my favorite car. I think it's still the craziest car out there for practicality. But the shop is here. We do everything from car accidents to wraps to、uh, body kits, custom body kits, mechanical work, engine, suspension, everything we do it here. And、um, that's what we pride and enjoy is being able to do everything for a car here in one place. For instance, we have Cullinans. We have three crash Cullinans here right now. So, and then we have one doing a whole 1016 Industries body kit. Actually, that body kit is right now inside the spray booth being painted. We do have an in house spray booth too that we do all the paint work here. So, we go around and kind of check out the shop. Right here is the new Escalade, Cadillac Escalade, very popular over here. And、um, this one has the Le Arte full body kit on there. You don't see Escalades with too many body kits. I think maybe there's more in Japan than in the United States. So, this one has a full wide body kit as well. Right now, we're doing some of the sanding and buffing preparation for it. We also put on RDB wheels. These are 26 inch wheels. They are called the RDB Zero wheels. It's our most popular wheel right now.、Um, and we are making them new in a three piece as well. But these are one piece monoblocks. And they're very, very concave and they accept the Rolls Royce style floating cap. So, it looks very nice and clean,、uh, hiding the lug nuts. We did an aggressive fitment on it too for the wide body on this, but yeah, this is a very, very special car to us. We could go on. Do you want to go back? Yeah, go back. There's two colors right here. This one is the, this one we just wrapped the satin black. This one is a crystal over orange metallic. Cullinan from Factory. This is one of three Cullinans in this color in the whole world. We body color paint match all the bottom trims. Very, very hard to replicate. This also has the RDB Masterpiece wheels in 24 inch, one piece as well. Looks very nice on the Rolls Royces.、Um, we've done it on the Ghosts, Cullinans, all those, but again, you can make it from anything. Very nice design there. Hidden over there is the New Year's Performante.、Uh, we already did the 1016 Industries wide body on one. It was actually for a NBA basketball player. This one is another client of ours. This is a factory matte black Nero Nemesis. And we're going to be putting the whole wide body kit on there, paint matching it. And、uh, we're doing new RDB wheels on that as well.、Uh, that it's a completely new design. We'll go over here. We have another Urus up there. That one was full mechanical work. Somebody hit the front of it, so we're fixing all of that. Like I said, it's pretty cool because we could do body kit and we could fix the cars at the same time. Right here is something cool. This is a Phantom drop head. Probably Rolls Royce's best car ever. It's really nice. It has a Mansory kit on there. It has the Mansory wheels and it is wrapped in a purple metallic. This is a wrap, so pretty cool to see that. I'll show you the interior. Pretty cool. This is all custom. Purple <laughs> yeah, and white. <laughs> so, to match the exterior.、Uh, something very special back here, too. We have a G63. This car is actually from Australia. So, it was shipped over from Australia. It's a right hand drive. That came completely stock G63. Right now, as you can see, it is extended and turned into a pickup truck. And it has portal axles, so it's lifted another six inches. Bigger wheels, all that stuff. Right now, we're doing all the body work on it.、Uh, all done by hand, by the way. Weld work, body work, everything. And then we're going to be painting it, obviously, to match the car. And then it's also going to get a Brabus、uh, front end, from bumper and the hood. So we have a lot more work to do on that. That's a very, very custom fabricated 
uh, project. It takes a long time. It takes probably around six months or so to do that, and then it's gonna go back to Australia. Right here is our spray booth, paint booth. We are painting a full 1016 Industries wide body kit for a Cullinan right now, currently. So he's painting it all black. This is actually special black. It's actually like a black with gray metallic on it. So it's gonna be a really nice Cullinan when we're done. We're also putting 26 inch RDB signature wheels in one piece on it. it. Looks really, really nice. So right now we're getting that paint done and then we're gonna install the body kit. Right here is the RDB Zero wheel, just like the Cadillac Escalade, also 26 inch. This was actually on the 1016 Range Rover that you guys saw, uh, but we did take them off right now currently because technically my wife's gonna drive it and she doesn't want 26s. So it drove really good, by the way. 26s on the new Range Rover passes better than the Cullinan's. Uh, you do a little bit of fender trimming and you can put 26s with 30 series tires. These are not 25 series tires, they're 30s. You guys can get it through Bond, let them know, and we can ship it to you guys. Another special project you guys are more used to, the Liberty Walk. Uh, it's a Liberty Walk Evo GT silhouette kit on uh, Ventador. So I forget how many they're making, it's very, very limited, maybe 30, I don't remember. Very expensive kit. So right now, as you see in the back, that was the older Aventador Roadster. We actually, that car was white. We painted it a Ferrari color. It's called uh, Rosso Fiero, and uh, it's a very, very nice color. It's like a metallic burgundy. It's a lot of work. This is probably the hardest kit we've ever installed because you take off every exterior piece off of that car, and you install all new body on it. So very, very difficult, that car to do, but we're almost done with it, so super excited to finish that. Um, but yeah, we have more stuff everywhere scattered around. We have an Impala over there. We have a new Ford Bronco. But yeah, we work on everything and that's what we like to do. So let's go put the Urus and the Range Rover upstairs and check them out. Guys, I'm Peter Northrup. I'm the founder and CEO of 1016 Industries and 9Design. These are three of our now most popular programs and we'll start with the Urus. So obviously this is a car everybody's seen. Uh, it's been very popular for us for two years. Um, this feature is full forged carbon, which I think was something that we, we started in 2018 was bringing forged carbon to the aftermarket industry. Um, so this is something that we offer on pretty much all of our programs. Uh, I was explaining to everybody earlier, this is actually the same material that Lamborghini uses, so it's much more crushed. It's very clear, it's got some depth to it. Um, this, as I said, is full wide body Urus kit. We just released two weeks ago the platform for the Urus S and the Performante. Um, very similar, we learned a lot from that kit made it much easier to install. Moving on, this is our RS6. So I started my love for cars with Audi. So this is something that was very important to us. This is our base lift kit. And just like all of our kits, we add to the car without taking anything off. So it has our full front lip, it has side skirts. This is our version one that we tried, which is the actual hood cap, which goes on. Um, and then it had the trunk spoiler and the rear diffuser. So this car, we're gonna show at SEMA, very, very different. Um, just like everything, uh, we like wide body in our cars, so we're working on an over fender program for the RS6, it'll be 25 cars only. It's a personal project for me, so we wanted to keep it very, very exclusive. Then we're gonna offer a full hood. And then the most exciting thing for us so far this year is moving into a very different program for us, which is the new big body Range Rover. Um, so, you know, when this car came out, it's a little bit soft. Range Rover worked very, very hard to keep everything flush, everything clean on this car. So what we did here was try and make it a little bit more aggressive, not as aggressive as the Urus, but give it something very different and keep the design very clean like the car has. So we added here these C-shaped add-ons here. Um, it has a front bumper insert here, which goes all the way across. It has the front lip here with a very intentional brake. This will all be available in carbon and forged. So you'll have the opportunity to kind of pick and choose what's painted to the car. Um, RDB built this car, they decided to paint everything to match the car as a very different look, very clean. Um, moving around, obviously these are gonna be the optional wide body flares. This kit is available just as a narrow body. 
but these are the wide body flares. Um, you can use the same wheels as you have on the car already with 25 millimeter spacers. And I think the biggest change to this car is adding the side skirts. The, the really big weak point here was how high up the side skirts are. So we have a really nice flow all the way down the side of the car. And then we finished off the back here with a very subtle roof spoiler, which again, you'll be able to offer in carbon fiber or forged. And then we have a three piece diffuser um, with basically false exhaust tips. Not a huge change, but enough that you would say, okay, this might be an SVR kit that Range Rover made for the Vogue. So, I'm going to show you the Range Rover. 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 そして途中でも言ってましたけどソフトキットにすることもできるんでこのオーバーベンダーなしでも成り立つようにオーバーデザインされているということでアメリカだとタイヤ無視してるんで26とか入ってますけど24でも結構ボリュームがやっぱりここにライン1本入るんでボリュームがかなり出るんでバランスが取れるとこんな感じの仕上がりになっております A6 にのご予定はぜひボンドグループまでということでありがとうございましたさあというわけで約2日間ぐらいかけて LA のショップをいろいろ回ってみました、まあ、カメラちょっと回せないところショップ何軒かもあって、まあ、全部ではないんですけどもなんとなく僕らが見てるもの何を見てるのかっていうのが伝わったんじゃないかなと思いますこんな感じで LA で最新のものは見てますそして各店でそれをフィードバックしてお客さんの車かっこいい車作れると思いますんでぜひボンドグループに車のカスタマイズご用命くださいというわけでボンドチャンネルのチャンネル登録あと各種 SNS でのフォローよろしくお願いします最後までご視聴ありがとうございました。